Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 2 Crystal Souls. We are in the Spiral Pit and I'm still not sure about our long-term chances here. Uh, yeah, well, these greater shades might actually be the thing that stops me here, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe they're not as bad as I think they're going to be. Uh, actually, I can deal a lot of damage to them, so we might be fine. I should probably have gone for the kill. On the other hand, though, we do have ways to deal with undead now. That is more undead at the same time. Several undead. Like so. So, two of the shades are dead. Okay, they hit pretty hard and, uh, of course, the ghasts still slow us. But, you know, other than that, um, other than that, I could go ahead and haste, although that's gonna, it will remove the slow effect on these guys until the next ghast attack. Sure, let's do it. The alternative would have been to, okay, I did not expect them to ha actually hit first, because I just can't remember turn order. Of course, slow is not a guarantee, as we see here. We both got lucky. Actually, oh yeah, he didn't even get slowed in the first place. So that's always, it's always, always a chance of that happening. The shade is dead. Um, now the alternative, as I was trying to say last time, was doing this instead of hasting. But I think, uh, yeah, obviously, casting haste first was the, the right choice. Okay, um, kill this one. Okay, well, the cleave works, and he didn't even kill his first target. I think we will just, oh. Fireball this guy. And take another hit, that's fine. There we go. All right, that wasn't as bad as I thought, but, you know, I'm still afraid of what might wait for us uh, in the center of this. It's got to be some kind of um, lich, maybe even, or some kind of super evil shade, I don't know. Apparently, greater shades aren't as bad as I thought, but there are still all kinds of possibilities. Hmm... Also not entirely sure what submission fungi can do. So we're gonna find out. Or not. Alright, that works. Hmm. I guess you can go in here and finish that fungus off. Probably not gonna kill this one. Okay, it shoots and poisons, alright. That's not as bad. Hmm. More fungi? Yep. Oh, a lot more fungi. Huh. Strange how only some of them seem to want to attack each turn. But ultimately, they're just not that bad. Uh, she is going to be poisoned for a while, so it's worth curing. There we go. Exit combat. Some healing. Spell points are still looking okay. Despite me not really having uh, tried to conserve them very much. Okay, we got even more fungus here. Didn't st skip its turn. Let's see here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not an amazing hit. 
Oh, but you can't shoot twice. Awesome, that works. Um. Let's see. Frost should work against them. Yep, sure does. Okay, uh, she's poisoned again. She's also almost healed, and she's actually regenerating, so... Why is she regenerating? Exactly? Hmm. Doesn't really matter. Okay, here we are against two greater shades and a ruby skeleton. That shouldn't be too bad. Um, well, four greater shades. The ruby skeleton, though, is not much of an issue. Not much of an issue. At least we don't have any any uh, what you call that like to slow us. Huh. I was really expecting these um, these shades to do a lot more spell casting instead of just attacking physically. Um, actually, standing here is probably better in this case, because we can lightning spray and yeah, hit all the enemies here, probably killing three of them, uh, or we could miss the greater shade. Oh, oh, ruby skeletons actually breathe fire. Why did I not know that? Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, okay, cool. So, well, greater shades can indeed use Frost Breath. I did not expect these Ruby Skeletons to breathe fire. I've fought several of these and I don't think I've seen them do that before. Or I completely forgot about it. Either way, um... We... Well, we saved after like half of the fungi, so... <laughs> There's that. Um... Okay, good. That's one kill. And they're always going to shoot her, I guess. That's just how it's going to be. But we did kill this one this time. Um. Yeah, that was to be expected. But again, only one attacked. Okay, exit combat. Thankfully this was easy enough and also pretty quick. Okay, save again, because this should be possible. I mean, now that we know that these also deal AE damage, AOE damage, um, they're certainly much more of a priority. Ah, Divine Fire, I mean, it's too good to use. Uh, too good not to use, rather. Um, are ruby skeletons immune to fire, though? They actually might be. I know that I've repeatedly tried attacking them with frost. Oh, they, they are not Im actually immune to fire. Interesting. Okay. I mean, it works in my favor, so I'm not complaining. Can you... Huh. You should have a good angle from there. Of course, you are also very much out in the open. That should kill the shade. Ah, again, we missed the one we could have killed. We did kill another enemy, though. <clears throat> okay. Ah. Once, it, once more, it comes down to bad luck. Which is the worst thing. Oh, there are more of them. There are a lot of more. A lot more of them. Okay. I thought maybe I. If we could defeat these, I could suck it up and resurrect for half of my current spell points. Hmm. Of course, I could try and play it safer by... by uh, luring them out here and finding them in this tunnel, kind of. But they can also 
always breathe down the tunnel and actually hit all of us. So it's not necessarily any safer. Well, killing one on the first turn is uh, definitely a good start. No doubt about that. Haste. And hope for the best. Basically hope that only one or maybe two of them used their breath attack. And none of them did. So, hooray for randomness, I guess. Um, I guess in here I'm mostly not going to use this, so I might as well switch this over to... Uh, where is it even? Lightning Spray, there it is. Okay, we got a kill. So we should be safe now. Relatively speaking. Oh no, and we missed this one again. Oh, okay. Well, they missed us in return. I should... Actually... Yeah, this is fine. Wow, there are so many of them. Okay, we killed that one. We have been really lucky too with... Uh, <laughs> lucky too. Uh, we've been really lucky with... Uh, them only hitting... Um, a couple of us with each breath attack. And of course, not them not using breath attacks or cone attacks as much as they could have in the first place. Well, it looks like we dealt with this wave of enemies. So, we'll quickly heal up. Oh, actually, we healed quite a bit just normally. Yeah, wow, that was a lot, actually. I didn't, didn't realize that the first aid was this effective already. It shouldn't be. Two? Yeah, we only have two points of that. Huh. I guess because it was a pretty long fight and we did kill quite a few enemies, that still adds up. Okay. The sarcophagus is empty. Its lone resident got out and started walking around long ago, and then was smashed, and then got up and started walking around again, and so on. Hmm. Okay. Well, of course, we do have some stuff lying out in the open here. I was also not necessarily looking for the uh, resident of the sarcophagus, but more like, you know, burial gifts. Okay, I guess this is gonna be the same. Of course, any treasures that might have originally been in there at one point. Uh, icy bones, huh? Uh, our first party in the first game took out of there a long time ago. Okay, only a relatively small number of these icy bones, and they—they're probably capable of uh, of an uh, of a frost attack. Would be very surprised if if they weren't. Oh, oh, great! This kind of enemy. Ah, oh, my favorite kind. Yeah. We need to focus on one of them at a time, pretty much. Hmm, could use Fiery Wand and probably kill this one. Or not. Okay, well. In that case, we can probably use this and... Kill it, alright. Uh, haste, worth it? Maybe? I mean, it's only two of them. But yeah, still.
definitely worth it. Absolutely worth it. Okay. He's no longer suffering from that debuff. I'm not going to make the same mistake I, I made too many times before and uh, exit combat until this stuff is gone. Let's see here. We can't remove this debuff actually, so if someone isn't in immediate danger of dying to it, there's no reason to Oh, he ran through it? Really? Well, that's dumb. What? Oh, right. I guess at this point we're pretty much safe. Better be careful around around this stuff. Uh, let's see here. He's actually also about to level up, so my spell points are not much of a concern here. Just good to know. This stuff is going away. Oh, he was still suffering. That's fine. Battle crystals. Actually, what? Uh, spine shield and regeneration. Meh. It's decent, I guess. Blast belt. Well, I mean, might as well use that over a simple stutter belt. There is the first button, at least the first that I noticed. I almost ran through that flame, too. That would have been a bit pointless. Oh, huh. is this some kind of shortcut, or...? Is this the actual way into the inner sanctum? I think that might actually be... Oh. <gasps> a gold ring! Hold on a second. Now hold on just a second. Got a lot of stuff, actually. In our junk bag. Apparently these sarcophagi have not been looted before, or have somehow been restocked. Even though that seems unlikely. Yeah, I think this passage might just lead down to a, dre a dead end. A dread end. Genesis, cape wood longbow. Okay, we all have one of those. Which is good in its own way. This looks suspicious as all hell. Something tells me that all of these bones, these heaps of bones and skulls are actually going to turn into skeletons. Hmm. The box contains the broken fragments of a crystal. There's also some ash and charred wood. It looks like the crystal exploded inside the box. Huh? Was this chest trapped in the first game? Is that alluding to something like that? Oh, terror white. Um, let's see if we can do this at least. Well, we can, and we missed him. I was a little bit afraid of that. But obviously... We were about to enter combat either way, so... Hmm... I mean, I could... have her cast haste again, but no, that's fine. Right, I forgot that I hotkeyed this... for convenience. I mean, they are killable. They do terrorize us, though. Or terrify us, rather. Is the right word to use here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, I mean, it's not that bad, all things considered. Could be a lot worse. Okay. Since... Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Since we are terrified... Oh, no longer. The enemies would not actually stop us. Or rather, no, the other way around. We wouldn't stop them. Terrorbone seems worse than the... Worse than the whites, actually. Good point, wise. Yeah, that thing is very tanky. Thankfully, it doesn't seem that bad otherwise. Maybe a misconception. Uh, 
Um, I can probably, should probably just keep doing this for a little bit better damage. Oh wow, okay, that was a pretty hefty crit. You're running away. Um, it's almost dead, but I'm gonna renew haste anyway. Nice, it paid off already. Shoot it. Let's see, it's fire, 57, yeah, I guess this is better damage, even against single targets. Ouch. Alright, level up for you. Surprisingly doable, this fight was. Um, yes, 10. Or do I want more cave lore? I guess I've been saying that I wanted to put more points into that for some time now. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's get it out of the way. The box contains the broken fragments of a crystal. There is also some ashen charred wood. Looks like the crystal exploded. Weird. Is that supposed to tell me something? If so, the message is lost on me. Huh. Looks like this was just... a little bonus passage. Well, okay. Not much in... Oh. I was just about to say... Not much in terms of special drops or anything, but i rather check again. And indeed, that uh, terror, terror Bones must have dropped this crystal woven chitin. Chitin chitin? Why? Why do I keep saying this wrong? All the time. I mean, it's not great, honestly. It's really not, not fantastic. 12 armor. Some evasion, one point of resistance. Yeah, you know what. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't think it's worth it. it. Seems not particularly good. I might be missing something. Maybe resistance is better than I give it credit for, but... If so, then... Well, so be it. Okay, we got a suspicious... magic circle here. Well, we'll see if that guy... Doesn't want to come here. No, maybe not. Okay, well then. Let's see... What's down this, pass this passageway, since apparently that Revenant hasn't noticed us. Can't interact with that pool at all, but we can grab these herbs, including a Grey Mold. Awesome. Okay, so we'll have to pass through this circle. No way around it. Oh no. Well, that's not what I expected. It's uh kind of bad though. Almost killed it. Thankfully, it doesn't deal that much damage. Well, I guess I'm going to follow the the wall here. Huh. There's a piece of rubble there. We certainly can't blast away this particular rock. Huh. So I'll have to look for another way. Two revenants. Okay, that's a lot a lot worse than only a single one. what I thought. Can't move at all. Um, sure. Shoot and blast away. Okay, you missed, but now you're gonna kill it? Yeah, there we go. You can move again. Perfect. Okay, so far so good. I guess I'm gonna save this. Following the wall still. Oh, how did they get this close? Without me noticing. You 
you can't really go anywhere. So, why don't you... You must be super close to leveling up, right? Uh, actually, not as close as I would like. Not nearly as close as I would like. So, uh, you smite. So I kind of want to... Oh, god damn it. I would like to get rid of this guy here. Okay, he decided to attack Swafnir after all. Shouldn't have used Fireball there. Maybe I should actually get rid of Fireball. And I mean, it's uh, it's still useful. For the most part, though, the spell points aren't going to be a problem. Uh, I don't know. Should definitely heal up a little bit here. Okay. Uh, not ensnared. I really hope we'll eventually get rid of this uh, magical darkness for good, so that we can explore the rest of this place normally. That would be much appreciated. Oh, <laughs> that guy has not seen us. Nice. Good hit. Okay. I mean, at this rate, um, he's gonna level up. Yeah, in about two or three more enemies. Which we will probably run into, if I had to guess. Oh, hi there, buddy. Hi there, buddy. Uh, iron short sword, chainmail vest, leather pants, boots we don't need, healing elixir for later. Thank you very much. Your sacrifice shall not have been in vain. In, in vain? In vain? Oh. Uh, turn the wheel. With great effort, you turn this old rusty wheel, you hear the, sto the sound of stone scraping on stone. Okay. Let's hope it did something beneficial to us. No, that's fine. I just want to... If possible, I would like to... Can I not? I guess I cannot go there to see the final corner of that room. Okay, well. Not that it really matters. We have come pretty far. That did something somewhere. Oh man, I hate this. <laughs> Not being able to tell. Oh, wait. No, this has been open. I'm gonna go back the way I came just to ensure that something didn't open here. No, this is where we entered this part of the corridor. The, gr the brown floor. Also, of course, I have not fully explored that cavern we just passed through. Right. Oh, wait. When did that open? Is that the third alcove? Yes, it is. Okay. So one of the switches has opened this one. Hi. This is actually not great. Well, we can do this. And this... And maybe even kill it. No. Missed entirely. Um, yeah, heal swap here, I guess. A quick ghast. Okay, I wanted to make sure that we can both attack. 
and I succeeded in trap regard. No, oh, right. Shoot twice, that's fine. Not sure if my uh, cone attack would reach around the corner. Although I guess if single target spells do, line of sight must be there. Uh, you can still use this. That did indeed work, and it did not quite die. <sighs> there we go. That's the level. Oh, that's his level up. Okay. Wow, he must be so close. Yep, three points away. Alright, 22 strength. One more point there, and... I guess just because I want to have more dual wielding, not necessarily because I need more quick action. I mean, this is also helpful. It's not like it's wasted points at all. Oh boy, I'm really trying hard to keep my bearings here. I also... oh, there's another enemy coming. I also know that I never hit that third switch. The one by the... Um, uh, by the third little tunnel alcove thing. Of course you, you'd miss this one. Wait, what? Why didn't it take its turn? Okay, not sure, but I'll take it. Actually, let's backtrack and see. Yeah, this is the th the first one. Maybe two of the switches are actually fakes. Yeah, this must be the second one, and this is the one I actually went through. I mean, it says that I hear stone grinding on stone. That usually means that something actually does happen. Okay. Interesting. Maybe there's a fourth one? There sure is. Okay, so I guess... Ultimately we just opened all four passages for what it's worth. I don't think we really needed to, but there we go. I should probably also spend your points here. I wonder if at some point I should stop putting points into one of these two and concentrate on one. Maybe give him more dexterity? Hmm. I mean, the thing is, intelligence is going to give him better, give him more spell points. Which is gonna pretty much stay relevant forever. Yeah, I'll just keep balancing. I am making sure that he gets more levels than everyone else. So that should already be good enough. First aid. Yeah, I also want more first aid, so... Actually, Spellcraft, it's not as important for him. Hmm. Maybe I'm gonna... I don't know. It's so hard. There are so many useful things. I'm gonna go for more spell potency for now. Okay, I think this is just... It's just has several... Ways for us to uh, advance northward. Okay, that wasn't great. I guess we'll we'll haste to combat this quick ghost, quick ghast rather. Okay, get wrecked, dude. You get healed. Wow. At least it didn't deal nearly as much damage this time around. So that's good. In fact, you have st you were still regenerating and already refilled all of your health. Awesome.
Oh boy, this place. Is this a dead end? Awesome. I love finding dead ends. At least that means that we can turn around and consider this tunnel completed. Oh. Oh, it goes down here? Oh. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. Hey, we actually... Huh. We actually saw pretty much all of this place. And now we can return with light and everything. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely something here that I want to find. Oh, there's a... Oh, maybe the wheel opened this. Opened this one. I thought the wheel must have opened something here, but actually I didn't see a, a grate here, and none of these places looks like it was closed at some point. So maybe that's that was entirely for for this. So we'll see if we can actually uh, destroy that, that rock there. So I want to see if I've forgot anything on the floor here. Looks like there might be something in this direction. There is a single white. Um, that seems too easy. Okay. If you say so. Oh, there was a chest right here. Terra wand. Eh. I don't know. Nearby foes. Sure. I guess I can see that coming in handy. Okay. Here we just stand like this, and this should be good enough if we can shatter this. We cannot. Wait, what's that? I didn't get the notice. The notification of, about it being too too hard to shatter. So maybe if I try to stand closer. I don't think I need to be right next to it. Oh, there we go. Maybe it does have shorter range than I, than I thought. And it was for an invulnerab invulnerability potion. My god. Okay, uh, worth it, for sure. Also, because I'm <laughs> crazy like that, I needed to explore that last little corner. Alright. We have explored the vast majority of this place now. The enemies have been tough but manageable, so we'll see. Maybe I'll actually end up clearing this place out. The air in this chamber is frigid and still. You find few signs of adventurers making it this far. You think you see some footprints in the frost on the floor, and they're all heading inward. None are going out. That can't be right. I, mean, I guess it has been a couple of years since my first party came through here, but still. Hmm. As you maneuver carefully down this ledge, a white mist starts to rise from the floor of the cavern. Then it begins to coalesce into shapes. Okay. Banshee, huh? Oh my god. Several banshees. Two banshees. Oof. Please tell me we can at least kill these somewhat quickly. Oh no. Not at all. Not in the slightest. This is really bad. Uh-huh. Like, really, really bad. And it doesn't seem like... Oh my god. It doesn't seem like there is going to be any kind of way to to avoid this ambush. Oh no. Okay, well. Yeah. This lightning breath. I mean, maybe... If we start out in combat mode, at least we get this little advantage. I could also have started uh, pre pre hasting. I mean, he's not gonna make it very far out here because he already used up some of his action points. Hmm. I mean, we do have two choking points here. I w would rather ret re uh, return, retreat all the way back into this corner, but I guess that's not going to happen. Maybe, though, we can cheese this and these enemies are not actually going to come, since they they technically haven't seen us. But I'm not going to trust that at all. 
Okay. Nope. No such luck. Hmm. At least we're not all completely bunched up together here. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, he's going to stay terrified. Oh boy. Um, is there something you can do? I mean, obviously terror is not going to work against the undead here. Or domination. I mean, I'm like 99% sure that this is not going to work on undead, period. Let alone ones that are actually threatening to us. Spell word. I mean, I guess this might help a little bit. The lightning damage is going to be devastating as soon as it happens, and it will happen, because we are not going to kill these banshees fast enough to avoid it. I guess... Mm. But they're also hit really hard, so physical damage is also a factor. Maybe whoops, maybe I'll try to use the oozing one to deal some damage to them. Yeah, well. Okay, at least it's something. Wow. Alright. Hmm. Mass healing, no haste. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna kill these nearly fast enough. Oh my god, especially when you completely miss. Yep. We are going to get wrecked. <laughs> Knocked around. Wow, we are somehow still alive. I, I'm not quite sure how this works. Wow, and then we missed twice. And of course you guys die from the debuff. And that's that. Okay, this is, wow. This is several orders of magnitude worse than everything up to this point. These banshees alone are would, would wreck us, even without four additional revenants that are just generally annoying, very tanky, and hit decently hard. Wow. Rough. Really rough. Yeah, and with this with this setup here, the way that the terrain works, and... I mean, we could try the opposite and try to run forward into this chamber, but uh, we're never gonna make it. Maybe if everyone stays... stays back here, and only one of us runs forward. I mean, it's, that's super cheesy. To do it like this. Also, we need to f actually have a way to f attack with two people at the, at the same time. If this ends up working in the first place. I don't know, man. Um, I mean, we can do something like this. Have him here and... Well, we'll see if and how this works in the first place. Save the game. Enter combat mode. You guys are gonna wait back there. I guess the trigger's about here. I think we can go here safely. So I'm gonna drink a speed potion. And wait one more turn. Yeah, okay. And now we have 12 action points to run pretty far away. Not not far enough, though. Maybe we need to be fighting them here. And we can. Protection. Of course, that did not actually help him at all.
Yeah, he's just going to get destroyed or not. Actually, he does have the spell points to spare here. Uh, the spell points, the action points. Yeah, you guys are just going to wait patiently. I should have healed him. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Um... I mean, we can't... No, we can't even attack. Because the line of sight is not going to cooperate. Maybe from here? Well, at least we can hit one of them. That's worth something, isn't it? Well, it certainly is when we heal crits like... <coughs> critical hits like that, twice in a row especially. Terror. Okay. Cool. Yep. You're running away. Um, heal. No haste for you. You're running away. You get completely wrecked. Or not. Hey, wow, we killed a revenant. That's more than we could have... Than, than we can say about those previous attempts. The banshee missed, and they are both banshees. Can't afford to miss here. That just can't be happening. Stand here. And haste again. Yep, okay, well. It's not game over yet, because we can resurrect, but it's definitely not a great start. I'm gonna heal first. Wow, holy shit. Are you kidding? Huh. Wow, just wow. I mean, at this point I might as well throw everything in. Uh, you are hasted, technically. Heal yourself? No haste. Wow. I mean... Return life? Um, that only resurrected one? Is that normal? Uh, huh. Are they running away? Well, no, they are not running away. They're still here. <sighs> mm-hmm. Cool. Okay, yep, you're terrified. I'm I'm also terrified, personally. I do have this re return life scroll, but I feel like we're definitely not going to resurrect all three. Nope. Only a single... Is that normal now? Is that baseline? Is that how it's supposed to work? I mean, we did get really lucky in, in resurrecting the one character who can also resurrect. Without using an item, that is. Wow. To your fallen comrades. Revives a fallen party member. Oh my god. Huh. Yep. That's what I thought was going to happen. I mean, you can drink a healing potion and not survive the next hit. Sure, drink an energy potion so you can resurrect next turn. And who of you has more health? 145, 135. Uh, I did not mean to do that. I wanted to click on him to switch places. Awesome. Perfect. Return life. I mean,
I mean, ensnaring... Maybe ensnaring is gonna work. And there's the other Banshee. They are ensnared. This is such a train wreck. Such a train wreck. I mean, yeah, at this point it's uh, not even worth trying. I was just... I don't know, something, something in me wanted to just keep going and see how far I could take this. I mean, if we're really lucky, we did get very close to killing one of the Banshees, and actually getting one of them killed would make a huge difference. I'm pretty sure as, so as soon as one of the Banshees is dead, that will take so much pressure off of us that we might actually be able to make it through the rest of the combat. The thing is, it's, again, such an RNG fest. Just, you know, depending on the enemy missing or not dealing max damage as often as possible, and also us hitting the enemy and dealing max damage as possible. Uh, I mean, we're this deep in the dungeon. Basically, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind running out of here and just keeping this for later, but we're this deep in, and I just don't feel like, you know, running all the way out only to, at some point, run all the way in and then all all the way out over again. So if I, if there's any chance for us to win this, and I feel like there is a chance, it's not great, but there's certainly a chance. Of course, this is also not the ideal combat position. Ideally, we'll we won't have we will only have like ideally we would uh, retreat all the way here so that we have only one direction to to worry about because the enemy can and will reach our back here eventually. I mean, technically, another thing I didn't even consider until just now. Technically, I could have... I could not use Xaz, but uh, use uh, Miri instead. And have her uh, blink from here. Blink deeper into the tunnel. Although she's probably gonna one -shot, gonna be one-shot by any of these enemies. So I guess it really doesn't make much of a difference. Okay, he's terrified. Maybe... Oh. Okay, he only took a single step. I mean, if he dies back there... It's uh, unfortunate, but... We can always resurrect him back here. In a way... Him dying back there... Is better. And him surviving. So I really want the enemies to come here so I can actually start fighting them. Yeah, they totally know where we are. So you stay there again. Return life. Uh, that's, that's actually about as good as it as I could hope for. He does not have any kind of protection going. But I can't really do anything about that. Um, I can't keep pressing the wrong buttons all over the place. That's that's a thing I can do. Missed, of course. Really? That Revenant is not going to come here. Oh, okay. There's the other one. Uh, yeah, we'll have to block them off. There's, of course, a, another avenue where they can reach us, too. War chant. Okay. Wait there.
shield chant. It's two revenants down. There is one banshee. I wonder where the other one is. It might be just around the corner. Oh, there is a revenant. Huh. <sighs> Not ideal. But actually, can we reach. Can we somehow reach the banshee? No, not really. I can't heal. Even if it's just a little bit. To increase our chances ever so slightly. And I'm also going to do this. To hopefully ensnare this guy. Okay. So we'll have... One turn. I'm not seeing... Actually, the other Banshee must be here. Because we do see both the remaining both remaining revenants haste is going to run out so we have to re renew that and unfortunately I, w I would like to get into everyone's back here there's the other banshee of course. If only we could somehow stop her from reaching at reaching part of our party. Oh, come on. Please. There's one banshee down. We're not in an ideal position here, to say the least. We're gonna heal Xas. Oh, she can't run away. God damn it. Um, well, wrong button again. Yeah, you can try to slow. I guess that's a thing. Undead should be able to... They are slowed! Oh, this is huge. If this ends up working... You go there. You're not dead somehow. She's immobile. Wow. Um, heal. You cannot move. She could drink curing potion, but actually she's only being attacked by two revenants here. One of them or both of them could also decide to instead attack Xaz. So she definitely has a chance to survive here. They're all, th all three of them are slowed. Okay. Oh, uh, actually, yeah. Renew haste. On everyone. Terror is annoying, but he can't actually run away. He has no way to run. That's very fortunate. Uh, he's going to stay terrified. So we're gonna remove that. She can move again. Only a little bit. Oh boy, this is so sketchy. <gasps> the Banshee! Skipped her turn. Oh my god. Is this it? We did kill both Banshees. Hallelujah. Wow. This is incre incredibly unlikely, but it somehow worked. Haste too? Wow. Oh my god. We actually did it. We actually did win this fight. I did, oh, wow. I did not see this coming. This might not be the final fight of this... of this dungeon, though. There is certainly more room for something just as nasty. <sighs> We're also at an hour, but I kind of don't want to make this a cliffhanger. I want to at least see what it is. If, if it ends up being another major fight, um, I'm probably going to save that one for next time, but I, 
at least want to want to see if this is maybe just the reward waiting. There are faint signs of a battle here. It took place a very long time ago, maybe even centuries. The weapons are archaic and rusty, but the bloodstains are dry and faint. Okay, there is a uh, silver necklace. Oh. Okay, maybe this was the boss fight of this area. Hmm. Please tell me that I can at least dispel this barrier. That would be the most anticlimactic. Oh, gotta be kidding me. Really? I did all this only to get stopped by this barrier? I mean, okay, the, the good news is that as soon as I have barrier 3, I can just return here and do whatever it is I do. There might still be a fight coming up, but, I mean, it's usually after a barrier... I don't know, usually barriers don't, don't block off enemies, but just treasure. Although, there is enough room to make me suspect that there might actually be some kind of final boss waiting. Also, I mean, obviously, we did not take care of the of the source of the of the undead curse here so there's probably still some kind of ancient lich in there and you know in that case it's probably a good thing that we uh, that we can't make it all the way inside also did I I didn't reload so I used up my barrier crystal piercing crystal yeah that's actually not waste that one for no reason. <clears throat> yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna ma make a cut here, or rather uh, end the episode here. Next time we're gonna probably look into the honeycomb and deal with the bandits there. That should be much more doable. It sounds much more like a thing I'm actually supposed to do at this point. Um, yeah, I'm still surprised I, I managed it managed to make it through this dungeon in the first place, let alone through this final encounter. I did not see that victory coming, and it only to be fair, it only happened because of utmost cheese. I mean, it's certainly a thing that the engine allows you to do, but, you know, uh, sneaking up on an encounter trigger in combat mode and luring the enemies far back to uh, not to not fight them where, they're, where you're supposed to fight them, uh, you know, it's... I don't know. <laughs> it feels a little bit cheesy, but... Um, it also feels good that I won, so um, I'm, I don't regret anything. Anyway, uh, this episode is long enough. I thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.